Hi guys, welcome to Destination's Delight. Today we are going to feature hamburger soup. Let's get started. Welcome to Destinations Delight. I am your host, Crystal Wagner, and today we are here to make a cooking video. So, for those of you that are running out of ideas of what to make and you're tired of having the same thing over and over, here's a quick and easy recipe to make for you and your family at home. Ready, guys? It's called hamburger soup. You are going to use, well, we're making a double batch, two pounds of hamburger. You will need one onion. We are going to cut this up finely. You are also going to need garlic cloves, minced garlic, Italian seasoning, a bay leaf or two, salt and pepper, Worcestershire sauce, diced pitted tomatoes in tomato juice, guys. You need the tomato juice. Two cans of this for a double batch. You're going to make or take two cans of tomato soup and then you're also going to need beef broth two things of this. A large stock pot and two bags of your mixed vegetables. So, to get started guys, I'm going to keep these in the freezer. We are going to go ahead and we're going to start off with browning our hamburger. Oh, and I also forgot potatoes. You're probably thinking, why potatoes? Because it's kind of like a vegetable soup, but you're adding the hamburger to it. So it gives it an extra kind of flavor. So we're going to first start off by dicing up your onion and putting your onion in your hamburger. And I think, let me check my notes real quick. Yep, you're going to do your... Um, Onion, ground beef, and your garlic is all going to go into your pot. And you're going to go ahead and cook that. Now you want to cook your burger thoroughly. You don't want to leave anything pink in this. After that is done, you are going to drain. So I will be right back and show you what I'm doing. Hey guys, I got my hamburger already in my pot, as you can see. Now I'm going to add the onions that I have diced up finely. Can bring it closer to the camera. There you go. Diced up. We're gonna go ahead and add those to this. Like so. Then you're gonna set that off to the side. And our next thing is we're gonna add the minced garlic. And I chose the minced garlic over regular garlic cloves to get into. And break up because this is already broke up so all you have to do is take a teaspoon of this like so just throw that in there I like a little bit of extra because that's just me there. so now you got your garlic in there and now we're gonna close this up now what we're gonna do is let this go ahead and you're gonna make sure you're hamburger is finely chopped up into your skillet and you're going to let this cook 
And once it's cooked, I will go ahead and drain it and then we will come back to you because you want to get all the fat out of your burger. And then we will move on to the next step, which is a bigger stock pot. So guys, make sure you have, if you're making a double, make sure you have your bigger stock pot on hand and ready to go. See you in a few. Guys, next you are going to, after you browned your hamburger and drained the grease, you're gonna go ahead and add it all into your stock pot. In this, you are going to go ahead and add your potatoes. Now, your potatoes, when you cut them up, it calls for two large potatoes or several small potatoes. So, I went ahead and I just cubed them as well, like this. You're going to go ahead and put them in there. And you're going to go ahead and also add... Sorry guys, I keep reaching for things that are on the other counter. You're gonna also add your tomatoes and your tomato soup. So I'm gonna go ahead and add, you want two cans of the 28 ounce pitted diced tomatoes in tomato sauce. So we're gonna go ahead and add two cans of those in here. Because remember, you're making a double batch. You're going to need two things of just tomato soup. You're not going to use milk or anything like that. You're just going to take the tomato sauce, or the, sorry, the tomato soup. Grab a clean spoon. Okay, there's one. Guys, and you're looking at maybe under $20 for this whole meal or less because if you're one who cans, you probably have tomatoes already canned. So that's a cost savings in itself. Okay, so you're going to add your soups and you already got your tomatoes. Now we're going to also add our broth, which is beef broth. And with that, you're going to add two things of this. Stir, I would stir the first round in so it's all stirred because you're going to simmer. This is going to simmer. Remember that. Okay, so there's one. Let me throw some of my trash away and I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. Then you're going to start with your second one. As you can see... Sorry, I didn't know you guys could see. Couldn't see the big old pot over here. So I went ahead and put it in my second pot. I'm stirring it up just a little bit. Because again, you want to make sure it's stirred. Okay. Now, we are going to go ahead and we are going to add our seasonings. You're going to add your Worcestershire sauce. Now, your Worcestershire sauce cause, calls for... Two teaspoons, guys, each. So you're going to put four of them in all together. Let me open ours up. Guys, this makes good marinating, too. You take this and a little bit of... Uh, um, brown sugar over some ribs, use it as a rub, two, three, and one more. Four. 
So once those four are in, then you're gonna add your seasonings. You're gonna also add some of your Italian seasoning. And because this is brand new, because my old my other stuff was old, so I went out and got some fresh stuff. Hold on, I gotta get a knife because they make seals childproof, even for adults. Guys, and I'm going to tell you something. Use the cap. Measure it out. Just like so. And then sprinkle it in there. So you feel that that is enough. Once that's in there, you're also going to add your salt and pepper and your bay leaf. And salt and pepper is to your liking. There's no recommended amount. And guys, I will also post this in the description below. Just so you know. Then you're going to go ahead and stir this. So that way everything is stirred up in the pot. And nothing's just sitting on top because then it doesn't cook before I put my bay leaf in here. Because I have not added the bay leaf just yet. Okay, so now that that is done, you're going to go ahead and add two bay leaves, I do believe. Let me check my notes. And it says... Yep, two bay leaves, because you're making a double batch. So, there's one and two. You're going to go ahead and you are going to simmer covered for 10 minutes. So, I'm going to just push this on medium heat. Make sure it's in there. And I'm going to go ahead and let this simmer covered for 10 minutes and we will be back with you guys in just a little bit I'm gonna set my timer see you in 10 alrighty guys now we are on to the next step 10 minutes has gone by it's been boiling beautifully as you can see there's a lot of steam coming off our next step is to add your frozen mixed vegetables. And you are going to do that by allowing it to cook for an additional 15 minutes, guys. So let's get these mixed vegetables into a measuring cup. Now it calls for six cups of mixed vegetables, three cups of mixed vegetables, and you need to double that, so we need six cups of, of mixed vegetables. I have a two cup measuring cup. So one bag is two cups. So there's two. You're actually gonna need three bags of these mixed vegetables. Another big bag here. Four and one more bag, guys. Because remember, we're making a double batch. So if we know one bag and two bags is four cups, we're not even going to measure this. We're just going to go ahead and put it right into the pot. So once you've done that, I will be right back. Okay guys, now that I've done this, you can see as I mix in my vegetables, you wanna mix it in, and you're gonna to wanna to have this cook for an additional 10 to 20 minutes. Look at the color, guys. Oh, so good. Smells delicious, looks delicious. Now, if you don't want to do this this way, you can put it in a crock pot and let it cook for two hours all day long. Smell the house up, get up in the morning, do what you have to do and prep it. Put it in your crock pot on low heat and 
forget it and come back later on at 5, 6 o'clock at night and you'll have dinner. I will see you when it's all done. Alrighty guys, that 20 minutes of cooking those vegetables is up. Pot has been boiling, smells so delicious. Let's grab our bowl and our ladle and see how this turns out. Here's your spoonful. Grab a little juice. Just remove. Be just a little more juice. I'll lay that on the stove here. Put the lid back on to keep warm. Guys, and look. Wonderful. Now, here comes the taste test. Let me grab a spoon as you feast your eyes on this. It's definitely hot. Blow on it so it doesn't burn. Oh my God, guys, this is very good. Well, there you have it. Hamburger soup. And, guys, it took literally one hour to do it all because you have to allow it time to cook if you like this vlog give it a thumbs up don't forget get to hit that subscribe button down below ring that notification bell so you don't miss any more of these delightful cooking vlogs from me yours truly crystal and guys thanks for watching and enjoying have a blessed and safe week. Bye.